So we have been talking a lot about graphs, yes? yes? Why are graphs so important? Why are we studying this topic in math? Megan? If you're like surveying someone, so then you can just like go back and like check it and then you know like exactly what um, it, the information is. Very good. It helps us to really visualize the data that we collect. When you look at the scale here, what do you notice it's going up by? What is our scale going up by? Going up by one. By ones. What sport was chosen the least amount of times? Matthew. Football. Football. Matthew, why did you say football? How did you know that? Because it was on the eight and it's the lowest bar. Okay, it was on the eight and it is the lowest bar. Now I want you to look at your graph and say, how many students chose soccer and baseball as their favorite sports. Listen to my question again. Which, ready? How many classmates chose soccer and baseball as their favorite sports? I want you to talk about my question and what you think you have to do in order to find out the answer to that question. Go ahead. Baseball is 11, so we would do both of them. We would add them up. Yeah. Yeah, so we would add 19 and 11 to get our answer. So my first question I'm going to ask you is which snack did the fewest students choose? Are you ready? One, two, three. Grapes! Nice thinking. Why are you thinking grapes? Who can tell me why? Because grapes only have one, but one really stands for two. Okay, so I had two students chose grapes. The rest were 12, 7 and? 13. 13, so you're thinking that's the least. Nice thinking. Okay, I have one more question for you about this graph. Are you ready? Okay, how many more, are you listening? How many more students chose apples than popcorn? Go ahead and do that on your board. I'll say it one more time. How many more children chose apples than popcorn? I'd like you to now find out. Are you ready? This is a challenge one. I want you to find out how many students they surveyed in all for this particular graph. I really wanted them to not only be able to do the addition subtraction, but to understand what the question was really asking them and what their graph was really telling them. So what are you doing first, Kayla? I see you added 12 uh, and 13. What are you thinking? I added pretzels and uh, yeah, I added pretzels and apples first, so Good. then I can take. Um, that and add popcorn and grapes and then add the two numbers together. Great, so you're kind of doing like two steps, right? Good, so you want to add this first. What else could you have done instead of doing it in two steps? What else do you think you could have um, done? Counted all of them by twos you until ooh. I got to the one. I love your thinking. You could have counted them by twos. What else could you have done? Instead of writing out two numbers plus two numbers, what could you have maybe done? What else? Added all four numbers All four together. numbers you could have done. So there's different ways you could get to the problem, right? Good, I like your thinking. I put up another graph for them to look at, and on their whiteboards they answered some questions I had about the graph so I could see who really understood how to interpret the graph and who um, might need extra support in the future.